Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Thiessen and I'm your Gel Moment Independent Distributor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this really cool striped, almost a buffalo plaid looking manicure using your Gel Moment polishes and your Gel Moment stamping kit. For this manicure, I'm starting with a base color of London Dreams on my nails before applying the stamps. We're going to start with the stripes from the number three stamping plate and we're going to use the black stamping gel. So the trick with stripes is to push your stamper directly down over it instead of rolling it. When you roll it, it can cause the stripes to distort and not be straight. Once you have a good transfer from your stamping plate to your stamper, you're going to line it up over your nail. Again, the trick with stamping the stripes is to make sure that you are looking directly above the nail and then pushing down. You don't want to push down too far or that will also distort the stripes, but you want to push down just far enough so that it covers the whole nail. By doing it this way, your stripes will be nice and straight and they won't be distorted or wonky. Before curing your stamp, you want to make sure that you have cleaned up along the cuticle line and making sure that there's no polish anywhere on your skin or around your cuticles or sidewalls. I like to use the cleansing pad where I can to clean off any of that extra stamping gel. And then I use one of the brushes from the Creativity Set and I use it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol from the cleanser pad or you can have a dish of rubbing alcohol that you use as well. You just want to make sure you don't have too much on the brush or it will distort the polish. And you can use this brush to just clean up in between those lines to make sure that it's a nice crisp clean line before you go ahead and do your second set of stripes. After fully curing your black set of stripes, we'll move on to the white set of stripes. These stripes are done exactly the same way except they are done on an opposite angle on the nail as the black stripes. When stamping, you want to make sure that you have enough polish in the etching of the design to make a nice clean transfer onto the stamper. With stripes, this is especially important because it's actually a quite large area that you're covering. So if you don't have enough polish in the grooves of the stamp, then when it transfers onto the stamper, you'll see spots that are missing. So if that happens, just go ahead and remove that polish from your stamper, apply a little bit more polish into the grooves of your stamp on your stamping plate, and then transfer again until you have a nice clean transfer. Again, the trick for stamping straight lines is to stamp directly down and not use the rolling method. I'm literally looking straight down from above through the stamper and onto the nail. And that's how you can get the stamp to be in just the right spot that you want it to be on the nail, as well as have a nice clean straight stamp from the stamper to your nail. Then give your white stripes a full cure before finishing off with a sealing coat of Clearly Frisky. With this design, you can really do any combination of colors. You could do a red base with black and white lines, or for the holiday season, you could do a gold base with red and green lines. And that's how you do the buffalo plaid or checkered design using the stripes from the number three stamping plate. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks so much for watching.